Welcome to another edition of our Restore series for IBM Spectrum Protect Plus. In this specific video, we're going to show you how to perform a virtual machine restore for VMware. So first, I'll log into the interface as my Joe user. And we get to the dashboard. Once we're on the dashboard, we go to Hypervisor in the upper left-hand corner. VMware, and then Restore, and we get the Restore screen. So here on the Restore screen, we have an area where we can actually search for a specific virtual machine by name. We can also view by virtual machines templates or just virtual machines. And then we have the vCenters in which we can search for those particular virtual machines or navigate to them. We also have our Restore list over on the right-hand side. And we have Options, Manage Jobs, and Restore buttons. We also have a pull-down for Restore from Site. Let me explain that. Here you see we have Primary, Remote, and Secondary. And these sites are actually generated for the specific vSnap storage server in which you want to restore from. So if I go over to Backup Storage here on the left-hand side, you'll see here that there are actual storage locations indicated by localhost and uh, two uh, different IP addresses. Of course, the localhost is the SPP server at the primary site in which I'm working from as well. And then, of course, secondary and remote. And the reason we, for these is also we provide replication to the remote sites or the secondary site. So let's go back to restore. And what we'll do here is we'll actually search for a specific virtual machine. And I'm going to search for Windows. And it'll return Windows 1 and Windows 2 that are being backed up on the hypervisor within this SLA policy. So what I'll do is select this arrow here under Restore Points for Windows 1. And I'll be able to select the restore point, let's say uh, this most recent one, five, or excuse me, 1505 on April 19th. I'll click on the blue square and I'll add it to my restore list or in essence a shopping cart. Now I'll select options and I'll be able to perform a specific task on the uh, restore and how I want it to be performed. And in this case we can restore to our original ESX host or cluster or an alternate. I can also do a specific restore type that being test production or clone. A test restore creates temporary virtual machines for development, testing, snapshot verification, and disaster recovery verification on a scheduled, repeatable basis without affecting production environments. Test machines are kept running as long as needed to complete testing and verification and are then cleaned up after testing and verification completes. Through fence networking, you can establish a safe environment to test your jobs without interfering with virtual machines used for production. Virtual machines created through test mode are also given unique names and identifiers to avoid conflicts with your production environment. Production mode enables disaster recovery at the local site from primary storage or a remote disaster recovery site, replacing the original machine images with recovery images. All configurations are carried over as part of a recovery, including names and identifiers, and all copy data jobs associated with the virtual machine continues to run. Clone mode creates copies of virtual machines for use cases requiring permanent or long running copies for data mining or duplication of a test environment in a fenced network. Virtual machines create through clone mode are also given unique names and identifiers to avoid conflicts within your production environment. With clone mode, you must be sensitive to resource consumption since clone mode creates permanent or long-term virtual machines. In this case, we're just going to do a restore type of test. So I'll save my settings. And then what we'll see after I click restore is you'll see another job pop up in the job sessions on demand restore. So you can see my restore job has been successfully created and you can see it appear here in the job sessions log and it's currently running.
And you can see here that the job has been completed and the progress is 100%. Now that the job has been completed, you can see below in the active clothes section, resources, Windows 1 test 00. And it gives me a list of actions that I can perform on that particular active clone, or excuse me, test mode restore. And I'll explain those in a minute. But first what we're gonna do is go to actually check the uh, hypervisor to see that that virtual machine has been created. So then we'll switch over to our vSphere web client and we'll expand our production cluster and we'll go look for our specific virtual machine. And you can see here our Windows 1 test 00, which currently is powered off, but we can certainly power it back on. And notice it's a second image of our primary virtual machine, Windows 1, with new machine name and IP address. So now what I'll show you is actually eliminating the uh, test virtual machine from the, that specific cluster or hypervisor. So we'll go back to the interface and at the bottom, remember those options or actions that we can perform on the specific resource that's available from our restore. So I'm going to hit clean up and notice it has eliminated that particular resource from the interface. So now we'll go back to the actual uh, vSphere web client and we'll actually look for our virtual machine and notice it's no longer there. So that's how you perform a virtual machine restore for VMware in the test mode and then clean up that particular test mode virtual machine from the hypervisor.